If you're gonna have soup, make it a massive soup. We've got two liters of soup here. It's one kilo of sweet potato and about 500 grams of broccoli, cooked broccoli, cooked uh, garlic and onion, and there's four garlic cloves and one onion. And yeah, it's really good. You can have that with some bread or not. Don't have to. On another note, this guy must think he's really fucking smart. The durian, the fruit, the fruit's tied up as well. So this durian's actually being tortured. I mean, some people say, Harley, you're a vegan, but you eat plants as well. And these plants are being tortured. You shouldn't do that. It's just the same as killing the animals. It's just the same as tying them up. And I'm like, I guess my reply is, go back to sleep. You don't get as strong eating small. Look at the size of this. Look at the size of this soup. Look at it. That's a massive bowl there. And we've got two slices of bread. Whole meal. And of course my trusty water. Now the good thing about making soup at home is the fact that it's 100% sodium free. Added sodium free. You can be assured of that. So it got pretty cold. And here it is, all finished, all done. I found that soups are a really good way to get in like extra greens. So if you're failing to get in some greens in the day, then make a soup. Definitely make a soup. And if you've got a Vitamix, then you'll be all set. If you've got a shitty blender, um, actually a shitty blender would be alright because... Um, all of this stuff is cooked, so it's all pretty soft. But you'll have to limit the amount of liquid and uh, food that you put in the blender if you have a shit one. So let's look at the nutritional breakdown. So 1,100 calories, 257 carbs, 34 grams of protein. But where do you get your high protein and high pants? In heaps of protein for post-workout uh, post meal. Like 90% of your nutritional needs, um, 600 milligrams of omega-3, 900 milligrams of omega-6, almost a one-to-one -one ratio, uh, 51 grams of fiber, heaps of fiber, every single vitamin and mineral, um, except for the selenium, you'd have to add in some bread uh, for the selenium and zinc, calcium, we're already at 63% for roughly a third of the day's calories for most people. Um, and vitamin D and vitamin D B12 obviously it doesn't have, but still uh, you can add those in as a supplement. And you pretty much hit all your nutritional needs for the day with one meal. So if that isn't good, then I don't know what it is. You I mean you could add flax to add some more omega threes as well, and the more omega sixes or chia seeds to the soup. Um, yeah, so this is really versatile. Uh, kind of food to eat, soups, so definitely add them into your diet.